You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel like it? And what is happening guys, it is Poor Cottonwood here, and today we're using the AK-47 with FMJ, I think it's FMJ, on Scrapyard playing some Ground War, which I usually don't play, because if many of you guys play Ground War on any Call of Duty game, especially Modern Warfare 2, you'll know that it is it's just horrible, with like, fucking noob tubes, and knifers, and spawn killing noob tubers, and it's, it's, it's chaotic, and this, I... This wasn't really like, kind of like my other gameplays are, like where it's like all about going extremely positive, and this is more of a just, I just wanted to post this because it's like, it's really chaotic, and I think it's pretty awesome, like I do go pretty positive, I can go like 14, not 14, 40 something and full 15 or something, I die like 15 times, but it's really chaotic, I don't have any kill streaks equipped, I just run around with this AK-47. I act, I really don't have any kill streaks equipped. I'm just like, let's see if I can get any AK-47 rapages and on. But I mean, honestly, it, I don't really care if it's amazing. I just want to get a gameplay on because I mean, a video is better than no video, I guess. So anyways, guys, uh, today I don't. I'm kind of like confused as to what to talk about today because I, I don't know. It's it's kind of been a busy summer for me. It's been a lot busier than I thought, and. Um, I I don't know, it's just, there really hasn't been a lot that has been going on that you probably guys want to know about anyways, but uh, I guess I can talk about the future of my channel when it counts, not future of my channel, but like a new segment that I'm going to start, you know how I started that one thing called Snipe Night a while ago, well, I said I'd make a new one every three weeks, but that's complete bullshit, <laughs> there's no way I'll be able to do that, it's um... I mean, I, I I can see a Modern Warfare 2 Snipe Night in the future, easily in the future, but anytime soon, no freaking way. I will never make that thing anytime soon. It's just, there's no way. It's it, They're very long and tedious to make. You have to go through every clip and make sure they're good enough. And then, especially Modern Warfare 2, since it's so easy to quickscope, unlike COD 5, um, it's a lot, you have to have a lot more impressive clips and all that crap, and it, it's it's pretty annoying. I, I have to, I really like sniping but I don't like it enough that I do it that often and besides I um I like using other weapons in this game I'm not just an all-out sniper if you know what I mean like I I don't just play this game to try hard search and destroy quickscope which is another thing that pisses me off like uh, I'm sorry if uh, there's a couple of you guys that just go in the search matches and basically go there to trick shot which it, it's okay if you're not really interrupting the game but I don't know if I've talked about this in another commentary, I kind of feel like I have, but almost, I've been playing Search a lot lately, and almost every single Search match I've gotten into, or almost every other one, there's like these dudes that will be like a big group of people on the enemy team, that will be all, tr like, there. of course there's like one or two guys that have no idea what's going on, but they're all like trick shotting, and then there's one guy on our team that's like their, um, like their wingman and they kind of like shoot and try to uh you know, tell them where we are and it's really that's really dumb and retarded and it really ruins search and destroy in a lot of ways look at that beautiful triple spare right there but uh it was uh it really annoys me how it it just kind of ruins the search game i mean no one wants to go in there and because it, it it it's kind of funny because if you get them in a funny position where, you know, there's like three of them crowded around, you can just spray all of them, kill all of them. But the thing is, is if they, they kill you, then basically the guy on your team is just sitting there while a bunch of these guys are like spinning around trying to kill this dude. And it's really annoying because, no offense, but half these people that do this suck ass. Like, they don't know what they're doing. Like, they just, they just spin around, and they just shoot, and they keep missing. I mean, if they were good, and they kept hitting, then that would be another thing, but the fact that I have yet to get into a search match where they successfully done a 360, you know, a 360 Claymore switch silent shot, you know, I just, see, they can't even make, I mean, these guys can barely even quick scope, and yet they're, like, spinning around and trying to do a 360, and it really pisses me off. It's just, like, they usually have three or four snipers and then they have two guys that run out and try to kill all of the non 
um, quick scopers, and then, or just the you know the wingman dude, and then they just that's the only guy that's left, and then once that's all said and done, then they all go around and circle jerk and like kill people and trick shot. And I'm like, you know what, trick shotting is all right, just do it in a fucking private match. I mean, come on. I mean, they they have private match for a reason. You guys could one v one, two v two, three v seven. I mean, I don't care. Just don't go into a circuit match and ruin it for everyone. It's just no one cares about your kill cams. You can ha you can play search by yourselves and have a kill cam. There really is no reason why that they should have go into a search match and do this. And I, I was talking to some dude. Like I was like, dude, come on, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm trying to get some some clips for YouTube. I'm like, well, okay, but what I'm trying to tell you is why can't you go into a private match and do it? He's like, because it's not the same. I'm like, yeah, but you have to understand, the dude is standing there waiting for you to shoot him. Isn't that the same exact thing in a private match? I mean, yes, it's an actual game, but it's not like that guy is running around trying to kill you and then you trick shot him, which would be impressive, but the fact that he's sitting there and not letting you kill him or letting you kill him, that's a completely different story. So, of course, he was still ignorant enough to stay there, but I'm like, whatever, dude. Just do what you want to do, but don't interrupt our game, because it, I just don't enjoy going into search matches when everyone is doing trick shotting, and it just... I mean, it's it's okay if you... If it's all a lot, like, if you're all willing to do that, but if you're going to get into a match where there's people who are trying to play search normally, then it's not fun, especially in Team TAC, because there's only four people in Team TAC, so... And then it makes it even more frustrating when you die, because that means that less people. That means that if you're in a, if you're by yourself, or if you're with two people, then if everyone's trick shotting except you, you're the only dude. It's like you against everyone, basically, even your own teammates. It's it is pretty frustrating if you're not if everyone's trick shotting and you're the only one. And I will back out and join another lobby, and it'll be the same thing. And you know, it's it's like this. It's like a never-ending cycle, but. You know, before I get too off topic, I kind of want to just briefly discuss my um, my new segment I'm going to do because it might be a little, I don't know, like some people have probably seen some videos about this and I've only seen one dude that makes videos about this and I, this, okay, what I'm going to do before I just kind of ramble on, I want to do a kind of like a new segment of series that it will be easy to make and I will release them every Wednesday hopefully and they will be my opinion like kind of like tips and stuff on uh, Modern Warfare 2 only unless it, you guys want to see it with other Call of Duty games which I will do every I'll gladly do every Call of Duty game like maybe except Modern Warfare 3 because I I haven't played that game enough to really get used to any of the guns in there but I want to do a um a segment series that kind of like says tips and tricks about um gun like some of the, every gun and like I'll give my opinion about what I think of the gun and I'll give you like some statistics and all that crap about the gun in the game and all that and yes I have seen like weapon guides of different gun for gun Call of Duty guns on YouTube and but I'm gonna can make it completely different like I'm going to change it in a way that it feels like it's not it feels like similar to it because it'd be impossible to make it feel completely different, but I'm gonna make it feel, try to make it feel as different as possible because I've always been interested in making, like, oh, kind of like giving my opinion. It's more of an opinion than a guide. Like, I mean, it's going to be recommendations, and like, I have used every single one of the guns on this game. And as you can see, <laughs> I've been posting commentaries about it, so you guys have proof that I'm going to use every, I have used every single gun in this game, and it. I just wanted to, I've used them with almost every attachment, I've had this game since it came out back a long time ago, and, I mean, not a long time ago, but back when it came out a while ago, and it was, um, I've used all the assault rifles, I used all the submachine guns, machine guns, sniper rifles, launchers, uh, I probably won't use the launchers because they don't have any attachments, but basically what I'll do is I'll go, I'll look at a gun and I'll tell you, like, maybe it's rate of fire, it's all that crap, I'll tell you about each of the attachments, what I think the best attachment is on it, um, what I think, what most people, what I've, like, noticed, 
uh, that seems to be most effective on what maps. I mean, I won't go each map individually, but I'll say like what map the gun works the best on, what gun, like what, when it is recommended to use. Uh, that was really dumb barrel stuff, <laughs> but yeah, he was uh, like all that, just really, and kind of like just giving you my opinion on the gun and how I think it should be used. And there are some guns that I still haven't figured out yet. Like, there are a few guns that, even though I, I, they're pretty much just, like, secondary weapons. But all the primaries, yes, but some of the secondaries, the, I think the only primary that I'm not very, um, familiar with completely is the, uh, M240. Because that weapon, I kind of just always have looked, at, um, away from it because it's unlocked at a high level. And at that time, I usually already have, like, the ACR and the, um, I have, you know, I'm using all the other high-level weapons, and so I kind of, like, overlook it, and I don't really notice it. But, yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do, and I hope that you guys will enjoy it, because, uh, I'll try to make it as least as the same as, at least, not same, at least as different as I can. So it doesn't seem like I'm copying, but I'm not copying. I watched one episode and I wanted to make sure I wanted to look at the things and try to see if I could make it as different as possible. But I've always wanted to do this ever since I started making videos. I've always like I want to make weapon, I want to make weapon tips and all that crap. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, rate, comment, sub if you want to see more, and hope to see you guys later.